Hey y'all, welcome to Michelle's Tasty Dishes. Today we are making a turkey stuffing meatloaf and a butt cake pan. So this is kind of like Thanksgiving in a butt cake. So come on, join me in the kitchen for this one. Okay guys, what I have in this bowl is one package of turkey stovetop and one cup of hot water. And you're gonna mix this and let it stand for about five minutes before you add it to um, the meatloaf mixture. But just go ahead and get that all mixed together and put to the side. All right, next I have one cup of cold water and then one package of turkey gravy and you're just going to mix that together. And then this um, will be added into the meatloaf mixture. So go ahead and just give that a good mix in. All right, now I have one and a half pounds of ground turkey. I'm adding two eggs, some salt, and that's pink Himalayan, some pepper, some poultry seasoning, and some sage. The next I'm adding um, about a chopped whole large celery and half a chopped onion. And then the best utensil there is that I was taught by my mom and grandmother are my hands. So you're going to blend that mixture all together making sure to get all those seasonings mixed in there. Then next, we are gonna pour in that one cup of brown gravy. Then we're adding in the stuffing mix. And at first it looks runny, but it does come together. And you're just gonna to continue to mix that till most of that liquid is gone and all mixed into the meat and that stuffing packet. Next, you're going to spray a bunt pan with some Pam, spray it really good, and you're gonna add this meat mixture. And you wanna have your oven preheated to 375. Then you're gonna let that bake in the oven for about 60 minutes. Once it's cooked for the 60 minutes until the meat is completely done, you're gonna let that sit for five to 10 minutes, and that helps the, um, meatloaf from drying out and the juices to collect. All right guys, here it is out of the oven. It cooked for one hour, has been cooling, so we are going to flip it. We added mashed potatoes in the middle, and then we served it on a plate with the mashed potatoes and green beans with some turkey gravy on top. Please subscribe, thanks for watching, and as always, God bless.